All right, so let's look at some basic comparison operators in PowerShell. And to do that, we're going to use these three variables and an if statement. So the comparison operators start with a dash and then their shorthand notation. So here are a grouping of the basic ones. We have the EQ, which is for equals, NE, which is not equals, GT, which is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and we have our logic here and an or. So inside of this if statement, um, if you want to compare two objects, you need to tell PowerShell which type of comparison you would like to make. So we're working with numbers in this case, and I'll show you one example with the string. Um, so we're doing a test here to see if this statement is true and we're giving it a variable followed by a comparison operator which tells it the comparison type and uh, another object that we would like to compare it to so when we run this our code inside the brackets runs because um, one is equal to one so this statement is true and our code is run so if I try not equal in this case, the code will not run because one is equal to one. So if we reverse our comparison, it will not work. Well, let's try with greater than. Uh, if number one is greater than seven, this should not work. It does not because it's not greater than seven. But if we use zero, it does work. So those are some comparison operators. Let's try it with a string. We can just provide a variable. And we have to use equals in this case. And I'm just going to provide it the same string. And we're saying if string is equal to string, then write this information. And it writes it because it is in fact equal. And there you can see that it does not work. So if you want to compare more than one thing, let's say uh, string, if string is equal to string and num1 is equal to num2, write the code out. And nothing happens because uh, both of our conditional logic was not met. So if you separate two sets of conditional logic with an AND, uh, both of those will have to return true in order for the rest of your statement to execute. If I were to put an OR here, it would work because you would only need one of these two statements to be true. And we could even um, add more logic if we wanted to. Uh, so those are some of the basic conditional statements and here is the grouping of them and that's it thanks for watching